Now you probably already know what straight lines look like on a graph. And quadratics, cubics, and we even saw reciprocals in this video. There are just a few more graphs that we need to recognise. The sine, cos and tan graphs. And exponential graphs. At this stage, we just need to recognise what they look like to not be shocked by the shapes. So, don't stress too much about learning the exact places they cross the axes or anything. So let's start with the three trigonometric functions. The sine and cos graph are really similar. Let's have a look at the sine graph. It crosses through the origin, has a maximum of one, and a minimum of negative one. And it repeats forever in the positive and negative directions. Let's now have a look at the cosine graph. See how it's basically the same as the sine curve, but it's just shifted a bit, so it crosses the y-axis at one instead of zero. So now let's have a look at the tangent graph. It's very different. You just need to recognise the shape. So we'll look at the actual values of the trigonometric graphs in another video. But for now, we just need to recognise the shapes and be able to complete a table of values to plot these functions. You can use your calculator to help you remember how each graph looks. If you type sine zero into your calculator, it comes up as zero, which should help you remember the sine curve crosses through the origin and sine 90 equals 1, so the curve is at 1 here. Type cos 0 into your calculator and you get 1. So that should help you remember that the cosine graph crosses the y-axis at 1. And cos 90 equals 0, so the curve is at 0 here. So all we really need to know at this stage is that the sine and cosine graphs are curves that go up middle, down, up, middle, down, every 90 degrees and carry on forever. The tangent looks very different. It sort of looks like lots of separate tall thin curves. So now we can recognise the three trigonometric functions. Now for exponential graphs. Again, it's just about recognising the shape. We'll discover more about them in future videos. Exponential functions are y equals k to the power of x, where k is any positive number. So y equals 2 to the x looks like this. For any number that is above 1, the exponential graph will also look similar in shape to this. For the negative values of x on the graph, the graph is very close to y equals 0. And then as the x values increase, the graph heads towards infinity, whereas if we have y equals 0.5 to the x, for example, or any value between 0 and 1, the exponential graph would look like this. So it's just reflected. But again, you don't need to worry about remembering this exactly. Just be aware that exponential graphs can be flipped. Either way, they cross through at 0, 1, and they both get really close to it, but never actually cross the x-axis. So there we have our final four graphs. Don't stress about knowing their exact shapes, just be aware of how they look. 